Since September, when we launched the Google Lunar X Prize, we have received over 850 requests for information from more than 60 different countries. In February, we announced the first fully registered 10 teams. Today, we would like to welcome those teams and announce four additional new teams to the world. First, I would like to introduce you to Team Odyssey Moon. Odyssey Moon is a private commercial lunar enterprise headquartered in the Isle of Man and founded by Dr. Bob Richards. Bob, just come speak. Hello, everyone. It's a, it's a fantastic pleasure to be here in Strasbourg and at the International Space University. Uh, bringing my two worlds together of ISU and Odyssey Moon is just a dream come true. I am living the dream. As Bob has said, Odyssey Moon is a commercial lunar enterprise. We were founded on the vision of a continuing business case for sustainable development on the moon. We hope to help inspire new ways to get to the moon and create and establish new ways of staying there. We are based in the Isle of Man, but we are a multinational team. We hope that we will bring the best of the, and the brightest of the world together to provide new technology, new innovation, and sustainable programs for return to the moon, first with small robotic programs and eventually with larger ones. We believe that a continued exploration enterprise between the private sector and government programs will indeed be a sustainable program for our return to the moon. Odyssey Moon is also about responsibility. We truly believe that we have a huge responsibility, all of us, to set the stage for how humanity will return to the moon in a responsible way, play together nice, and use it as a stepping stone to Mars, the solar system, and the universe. Thank you very much. I did just win that car race with no human drivers, uh, but the prize was only $2 million. Uh, Lindbergh flew the Atlantic Ocean for $25,000, and the winner of this prize will surely cash the check. Um, it is never uh, really about the money. The Astrobotic team is committed to win this Google Lunar X Prize and to pioneer the, lo uh, the lunar frontier. Our business plan is to fly robotic missions yet to come. The vision enlivens us and it inspires others around us. Uh, we are making the impossible possible. Uh, The Lunar X Prize is already shaking the future. For, robot, for Astrobotic, the prize is an opportunity to revisit Apollo 11 after 40 years and to rekindle the spirit of humanity at, at one of the best moments. It is the opportunity to in, create, enliven, and express. Like most things worth doing, the X Prize is not quick or easy, just worthy. The payoff of success is commercial space enterprise. The venture has its risks, but the only sure way to lose is to not play. Astrobotic President David Gump and uh, Marketing Director Colleen Lester are here with Astrobotic today. It is a pleasure for Astrobotic to compete for the Google Lunar X Prize. Thanks for having us. Somewhat arbitrarily, I would say there are five ingredients, five things needed to be a success in this enterprise. Three of these necessary ingredients, we believe that our team has in spades. We have it covered. And these three form the reason we believed from the start that we have what it takes to capture the Google Lunar X Prize. First is our team leader. In my estimation, and in the estimation of many others, the finest engineering mind in the space business. In fact, if you had to point to one individual, one single individual who did more than, who is more responsible than any other single person for the truly viable commercialization of space, it would be him. Second, we really do have a remarkable team. The caliber and the relevant space experience of our team members in knowing how to pull something like this off 
is truly outstanding. Among our team members, we, we've counted over 130 space-related patents and active participation in over 500 space missions. I should also say that in addition to the more experienced members we have on our team, we do have some younger people who when they interacted, when he interacted with them, so favorably, favorably impressed Dr. Rosen with their capabilities, their smarts, their attitude, that he asked them to join our team and they accepted. I believe not only because they are excited about working on this project, but also for the opportunity to work closely with Dr. Rosen. Third, we are now close to finishing up on our spacecraft design. In short, it's a spinning lander that hops. It's simple, it's elegant, it's low cost, it's doable. We are very proud of this design and as a team, we've been having lots of fun working on it and refining it. And now if you've been counting, that's three, the three things we have covered. The other two necessary ingredients are proving to be more problematic. One is the cost of the launch vehicle. When we first formed the team, we had in mind a particular published cost of a launch vehicle that has inexorably risen. Upon further investigation of this launch vehicle and other launch vehicles, we now know that the probable cost of a launch vehicle, and this is if we're lucky, is on the order of roughly three times the cost of what we originally expected. This may prove to be an insurmountable barrier for us because it hugely impacts the final and the absolutely necessary ingredient for success, and that is to obtain a sponsor or sponsors. We obviously cannot do this without a sponsor to fund our effort. We are still trying, we're still hoping, but that's where we stand right now. Thank you. Well, I've, I'm a bit overwhelmed at ISU here. It's a beautiful facility, uh, and Strasbourg is a beautiful town, and I wish I had time to see more of it, but I've been spending my time here. Um, I've said before, this team started as a dream. Uh, it started when I was two years old, watching Apollo 11 launches on my TV in Waveland, Mississippi, and Huntsville, Alabama, where I grew up. Uh, that was the first space race that I grew up in. Our journey of 384,000 kilometers began with this single email message, though, that said, going for the moon, open source, interested? Uh, two of my friends, Rich and Dan, responded immediately, and that's how my team started. We were doing the impossible. But my dream was about getting into space, exploring, discovering, learning, and teaching. And to do that, space needed to become more accessible. So I thought, what better way to advance accessibility than through open source and open participation? We'll just let everybody come and join. We decided to demonstrate that open source is a powerful method for solving complex real-world problems. We want to show also that an individual's efforts can have an incredible impact toward achieving something truly remarkable. Furthermore, open source draws people together. Our team now has about 300, maybe, maybe even more members right now. I'm not sure how many new members have joined since I got here. Uh, and we're still hoping out, uh, hope that we get somebody from Antarctica. Right now we have people from six continents, um, dozens of countries, and uh, 300 members. Uh, and they range in age from anywhere from seven to in their 70s. But although we're a diverse bunch, Everybody in this group has two things in common. Their brains are all gray and their blood is all red. We truly are one people, one planet, working to get together to solve big problems. Uh, we've also now formally adopted our first uh, educational partners, including the Stuyvesant High School Robotics Club and the Huntsville City School System in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, that notably includes Ed White Elementary School Chaffee Middle School and Grissom High School, named for the three Apollo, 11 ast uh, Apollo 1 astronauts. Finally, we want our team to be a beacon to talented contributors and space enthusiasts from all over the world, from all backgrounds, to join with us and make this dream a reality. We entered the competition to win, and we firmly believe that the open source approach is the best way to do that. We're a new generation living in a new millennium, so ask not what your planet can do for you but ask what you can do for your planet. And see our website at teamfrednet.org if you want to learn more. Thank you.